Are you confused on a work set, feeder set, and warm up? I'm gonna show you exactly what they should look like. All right guys, here we are. And I really wanna cure up a lot of this confusion of the difference between doing warm ups, what your feeder should look like, what a work should look like, and what a back off set should look like. So today, we're here on this Cybex piece. It's one of my absolute favorite back machines at Elite. And I'm gonna show you exactly what every single one of those look like. So today here, what we're gonna do is walk you through two different warm-ups. So the first one is gonna be a set of 12, and I'm just trying to get some rhythm going. I'm not really holding any squeezes, not pausing the hole for a stretch. I'm really just trying to get some feel in my muscle for this piece, my lats, and start to get them warmed up. So first set is gonna be a warm-up set of 12. Warm-up set number two. So I dropped the, what, the reps by two, but if you notice with every one of these reps, what I'm actually doing here is holding the contraction for a count of one, and I'm really letting it out controlled. So with the second warm-up, I'm really trying to dial into that exercise. I really hyper-exaggerate the contraction and then slow the negative. All right, feeder set number one. If you notice the reps drop drastically, so from 10 to six. These are all supposed to be non-fatiguing. I just wanna feel the load with each mini set for the feeder. Again, the reps on feeder sets, in my mind, anywhere between three and six. You can even take it as low as two or one if you want, but to me, it just doesn't feel right. I much prefer somewhere in the range of three to six. So again, the goal is just trying to go down the stack, get warm, but not exhaust my muscles so that I go into a fatigue, because I wanna be able to lift the maximum amount of load I can for my actual workshop. Feeder set number two. To me, your last feeder of all your warm-ups is by far the most important because that's to me, is what's gonna allow me to select my actual working weight. So with this today, the stack on here goes to 200. I smoked at 175, it felt super, super light. So instead of just going to the stack at 200, I'm gonna load on a gym pin and put on some more weight. Because for my work set, I'm gonna go one all out for my top end load, and then we'll show you what a back off looks like. Work set number one, what I would call a top set. So what that means is, it's just the top end load that I'm gonna be able to use and get at least eight reps. So if you look there, I went to positive failure, then got a few partial, and the goal there is just to fully exhaust my lats. That's 250 pounds, so 200 pounds on the stack, plus a gym pin and 225s. And the goal there is just to get as many reps as I can. Now, for all those people out there who do progressive overload, that is the reps you would track. So let's say you get 10 full and two partial, or 10 full and two assisted, in your logbook you would put 10 reps plus two, and just know next week that's the number you have to beat. So that's what a top set looks like. I'm gonna rest here a minute and then get after a back off. All right, so with this back off, I went from 250 and I dropped it all the way down to 175. And the reason for that is with this back off, I like my former to be like stupid in terms of how perfect it is. I'm gonna hold every single contraction. We're gonna let it stretch out, feel my lats get a good stretch, slight pause in the hole, and then drive back, squeeze as hard as I can. And if you notice, for both my work set, my top set and my back off, I'm using straps, whereas my warm-ups and feeders, I did not use them. So you wanna make sure you take all the other variables out. So with this, I don't want my, my grip or my biceps forearms to take over. So my two working, because honestly on this piece, these are the only two sets I'm gonna do all fucking day. I have to make them count. So strap in and fucking crank. That was the back off. Now you notice with that, as I said before I did the set, I want every rep to be perfect. But with this, if you notice, I even got some bottom half partials because to me, my lats are still turned on and still working. So, because you only get two sets, if that's how you're gonna train, you have to empty the tank. You cannot leave any ramps in the tank whatsoever. So, there you have it, guys. Warm ups, feeders, top set, back off. That's how, if you wanna grow and follow a mountain dog program, use all of these tips and cues. Watch these sets over and over again. Apply them to your training, and I promise you will get the maximum benefit out of all of our programs. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe, Kevin TV.